Hey what's up everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can unlock the bootloader and also install TWRP recovery on the oneplus 8 phone I think this will also work on the oneplus 8 pro as well so let's get started okay so first up come to your pc as we need to download some files head over to the links in the description down below and will be taken to these pages first up is the oneplus usb drivers just uh, click on the download now button over here and the download will start next up this is the uh, qualcomm usb drivers just in case something happens it is uh, better to have this installed just scroll down over here and here you will find a download button you can click on it and download the file next up is the twrp image itself for our phone and like i said you can also do this even on the oneplus 8 pro model as well so once you come to this page scroll down a bit choose any of the download links and here if you want to flash the recovery image through fastboot you need to download the one which is ending with .img over here for example like this twrp 3.7.0 and at the ending .img and the twrp installer .zip file i think it is like a magisk module or something you flash it as a magisk module and the twrp recovery gets installed but uh, i'm gonna be showing you the fastboot method in this video so just click on the one which is uh, ending with dot img over here the latest version as of now is 3.7.0 so just click on it and the download will start immediately next up is the platform tools for our pc this will enable us to run adb commands to our phone again scroll down a bit and here you need to choose which is your platform mine is windows so i'm just gonna choose windows just click on it and uh, agree the terms and conditions and the download will start I'm not going to be downloading anything as I have already downloaded everything just to save some time. Once you have all the files, you can exit out of your browser. And now first up, you need to install the USB drivers. So just extract them. Again, you can use any extracting tool. Once you have them extracted, install both of them. It's like uh, just a normal setup wizard. You can install it again. I have already installed this, so I'm not going to be showing you here. It's very easy. It's just like a normal setup wizard. You can install it easily. Once you have uh, both of these drivers installed, Let's go ahead and set up ADB on our PC. If you already have ADB and Fastboot set up on your PC, you can skip this part. But I'm going to be showing how to install ADB as well. So first up, extract the platform tools uh, zip file. Once that is extracted, open the folder and then copy the directory to where all these files are. So just click on this empty space over here and the directory will automatically get uh, highlighted. Then you can hit Ctrl C and copy it. Next, what you need to do is come to your search bar, type in view advanced system settings, click on environment variables, double click on path, click on new and then paste a directory which we copied earlier. And then just click in any empty space and then press OK, OK, OK. And that is it. We have installed ADB and Fastboot on our PC. OK, so now let's head to our phone and do some stuff there. Okay, so in your phone, before we do anything, first log out of all your accounts. So whether it may be a Google account, any account, log out of uh, all of them. You can always log back in afterwards. Next, what you need to do is you need to enable developer options. If you have it enabled, you can skip it. If you don't have it enabled, just come to the about phone section and then tap on the build number a couple of times and the developer options will be turned on. Once you have done that, you can come back, go to system and here you will see developer options. Now again keep in mind this process will erase all the data on your phone so if you have anything important on your phone it is better to take a backup. So once you come to developer options you need to turn on the toggle which says OEM unlocking. Tap on enable and also don't forget to enable USB debugging. And once you do that you need to reboot your phone into fastboot mode. To reboot your phone into fastboot mode you can uh, do it using the volume buttons and the power buttons but you can also do it by running a command in your PC. I'm gonna show you by running the command in my PC. So to make the phone boot into the fastboot mode and uh, yeah before we do anything I recommend you to put the TWRP image which we downloaded earlier into the platform tools folder. You will see why later. And once you do that, you need to open up CMD command prompt. Just type in CMD on the search bar, hit enter, type in ADB devices. Let it start the service. Okay, now we're gonna connect our phone to our PC and also make sure you have USB debugging turned on on your phone. I'm gonna type in the command again. And if you are uh, doing this for the first time, I think the phone will uh, give you a pop-up whether you need to allow the PC to access ADB or not. Just hit allow on the phone and it should uh, finally, it should say like this. 
device over here which means everything is proper now we need to type in adb reboot bootloader okay now when we hit enter the phone is going to reboot into the bootloader so i'm gonna go ahead and hit enter okay now when we hit enter the phone is going to reboot into the bootloader so i'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and then as you can see now we are in fast boot mode and now let's type in fast boot devices and if it says fast boot over here then your device is uh, properly detected by a pc and we can continue to the next step so next what you need to do is you need to type in fast boot oem unlock hit enter now as you can see in the phone it's saying uh, whether you want to unlock the bootloader or or if you don't want to unlock the bootloader so we use the volume buttons to navigate to the unlock the bootloader option and then press the power button to unlock the bootloader now the phone will reboot as you can see now it's saying the bootloader is unlocked and software integrity uh, all the uh, some stuff and again this will wipe your data and then uh, the phone is going to reboot back into the operating system and as you can see the phone has booted into the setup screen so now just uh, set up your phone like normal so i'm just gonna go through the setup real quick Okay, once you finish uh, setting up your phone, you need to go to the settings app and go to developer options. Oh wait, we need to enable developer options. Go to about phone, tap on the build number a couple of times, go back, system, developer options and uh, as you can see OEM unlocking bootloader is already unlocked. So it should uh, say like this and then we can continue on to flashing the TWRP recovery image. Okay, so now with the bootloader of our phone unlocked, now we can flash anything we want okay so let's uh, flash the recovery image the twrp image now i already have the phone in fast boot mode so again if you want to reboot the phone into fast boot mode just uh, type in adb reboot bootloader in the command prompt so mine is already in fast boot mode so i just have to flash the twrp image so first up i type fast boot devices to make sure that my pc is able to detect the phone okay fast boot now what you need to type is fast boot flash recovery and then head over to where you have uh, stored the twrp image and just drag and drop it in cmd so once you do that just hit enter and that is it we have flash twrp image so let's uh, head over to the phone so now we basically have uh, twrp image flashed now we need to just navigate to recovery mode you can use the volume buttons over here to navigate to recovery mode and then just hit the power button and now the phone is going to boot into the recovery mode and as you can see we have successfully installed twrp recovery in our phone now uh, if you want to boot back into the stock rom you first need to head over to wipe and then select format data type in the word yes then hit the tick mark over here and only after you do that you need to select reboot system and then this will boot back into the stock oxygen os now you just wait for the phone to boot all right as you can see the phone has uh, finished booting and it is in the setup screen so now just uh, set up the phone like usual i'm gonna do that real quick Alright, so now the phone is booted back into the operating system. So yeah guys, this is how you install TWRP recovery on the OnePlus 8 phone or the uh, Pro model also. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.